we're here at the golf course structure which separates the Floral City Pool from the Inverness Pool. My name is Mike Bartlett. I'm Chief Structure Controls Analyst. ARMA gave us a chance to work with engineering, a chance to work with data collections and other scientific side of the district. When Hurricane Irma occurred, a tremendous amount of rainfall, 8 to 12 inches, fell over the entire Withlacoochee River watershed. And that created a wave of water working its way down river, causing flooding in many areas. While the flood wave was moving past Citrus County, and we had very low dissolved oxygen levels because of the fish kill that was going on in the Withlacoochee, we still had a small window of opportunity to move water in to the Salapopka Channel Lake. So we had to balance the quality of water in the Withlacoochee River, how that quality of water would affect water quality in the Salapopka Chain, while at the same time trying to maximize levels in the Salapopka Channel Lakes. I'm Mark Fulkerson, a senior professional engineer with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. Also what happened with Hurricane Irma was we had strong winds which caused a lot of vegetation to fall off of trees into swamps, into the river, into nearby water bodies. This blew the leaves into the water, the bacteria ate the leaves, the bacteria kind of reduced the oxygen in the water to a level that is not really ecologically good. We had to close the gates and not allow any of the river water to come into the lakes until we could kind of assess what was going on with the river water. I'm Patrick Casey and I'm a Structure Operations Project Manager. So with the help of Joel from the Water Quality Monitoring Program, we were able to collect real-time dissolved oxygen measurements on the lake and the river, and we were also able to collect hourly dissolved oxygen levels on the river and the lake. And with that data, we could kind of compare to make sure that we weren't adversely impacting the lake. Once we kind of determined it didn't, we opened the structures a little bit more, allowing a little bit more water in. Basically what we're attempting to do is the, the uh, theory that we used when we were kids and we got a goldfish and we brought it home in the plastic bag and we set it in the aquarium and we slowly added water from the aquarium into the plastic bag until the goldfish became acclimated to the water and then we released it. It's important that the residents are informed about changes in the river and especially during Hurricane Irma because that information could really help them make decisions on rising water levels, on how they needed to protect their family, their properties. Really before, during and after Hurricane Irma we stepped up those communications. I feel it's a very valuable uh, service that they render to the public. I'm Larry Hartman, uh, the president of Too Far. I appreciate uh, Mike and Mark and all of those who come and give us that information and with, with charts and personal experience, um, it helps people understand the system a little bit better. I've been employed by the district for over 28 years and it's, it's, it's good to see the level of communication between the departments that we have. I'm looking forward to increasing that cooperation and doing greater things. <laughs>